Okay, so this is to go over a couple of the basics that we just covered. This is for Music Piano 111. Um, just to review, again, a couple basic things about hand position. Um, obviously, you can't see how I'm sitting, but make sure your feet are flat on the ground. Make sure your fingers stay generally curved. You don't want to flatten them out like this. Remember, this is a much more solid way to build up finger strength and independence. So we're going to go through a couple of the basic warm-up exercises. Just take one hand. Let's start with your right hand. You can use any group of, of keys on the piano right now. And just remember, finger-wise, uh, number-wise, we're going to label the thumb as number one. Okay, so just take your thumb and do four, uh, four play four times with each finger, such as this. One. Switch to two, switch the finger three, switch the finger four, etc. So you can do this with any finger again, any part of the piano, black keys, white keys, and just try to keep your fingers as curved as you can. You don't want this knuckle, you don't want this particular knuckle to go flat, okay? You want to keep this nice and firm and curved as you're playing. Same thing with your left hand, any group of keys. We can do this on all the black keys, starting with your thumb as number one. Again, just practice playing a nice solid strike with each finger. One, 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 one. Switch to finger two, 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 two. Switch to finger three, 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 three. Finger four, 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 four. And your pinky, finger five, five. You're playing and just or getting working on independence with your fingers. Once you feel comfortable with that, um, you can try playing both hands at the same time. You might want to alternate and start with finger five in the left hand, finger one in the right hand, for example, would sound like this. And switch and keep going up one note at a time. You can also do finger one and one together, which might feel a lot more comfortable right now if you simply play. Okay, so again, just get into the habit of, of calling these finger number one, um, and then work each individual finger first, especially if this is your first time taking piano lessons. Okay, now we're going to do a quick little exercise, um, and this involves moving your hand a little bit more around on the piano and getting more comfortable and familiar with the piano topography, how the keys are laid out. Again, notice that the piano is a very organized instrument in groups of black keys, groups of white keys. We're going to start with, let's start with the left, let's start with the right hand. Let's start in a group of three black keys. This is like an exercise we did in class. I'm using fingers two, three, and four. And even though we were limited, obviously you can't see the whole range of the piano here. We're going to practice shifting quickly between different groups, okay, with the same fingers. So one example of an exercise you could do is simply to play two, three, four, two, three, four, and keep moving up the piano or down the piano. And the idea here is, again, to get comfortable moving certain distances, okay, between uh, black keys, white keys. You could do another one such as this with the, let's try the left hand. I'm going to use a group of four white keys, okay, and it could be something simple as, again, just playing each note one at a time. and down to the next group, okay? 